Hi YouTube, this is uh, Pam Withers. Been quite a while. Uh, been uh, really busy with uh, work commitments. Just in the midst of refurbishing uh, part of my reception where I work. Which has been taking up a lot of my time. Obviously working full time and then working on that in the evenings. Been on for about uh, two and a half, three weeks now. But we've broken the back of it. And uh, I thought we'd just have a quick look around Pen Withers. Not really done a great deal, but just thought I'd show you a couple of bits that are on the go. Uh, as you can see here, Truro Signal Box. Let's uh, pan out. This is uh, Truro's new signal, or Pen Withers new signal box. And it's an exact copy of the signal box at Truro. Lovely detail uh, done by Kerno Model Rail as a limited edition. Um, when I seen it at Worley last year I thought I'd better order one up. So excuse me, it's got a lift off roof on it so I'll be able to detail the inside uh, which uh, I'll just show you in a minute what I've got for the inside. Um, I've done a little bit more just here. I made up a cattle dock, which uh, it's worked in quite well. Uh, I think it was one of the Wills kits, but I had to modify it to fit. I'll see. Uh, quite a work, bit of work to make it. Put a few cattle in, a little bit of straw just to add to it. Could do with a bit of weather in. And uh, obviously the cattle truck there, as all models do, they come shut. So I cut the back door out and made a ramp up and sides and uh, obviously put the old bullock inside. I'd say probably a little bit of weathering. Put the drainage gullies uh, in, set in for the track. Uh, just something to fill in a little corner. Well, see here we've uh, with that signal box. I did have this building beside the signal box, but there's not enough room, so I thought I'd uh, work it in here as a little bit of a stores. And the plan is where that white lorry. I'd probably do a bit of a covered in build in there and just finish that bit off. So, uh, like I say, that's about the only thing I've really played around with recently. And we'll just pop into the workshop, add a little bit of tidy up in here. Got a workbench back, better just show that uh, just in case Graham watches. Uh, the O gauge kit obviously came to a standstill waiting for the uh, new cogs to turn up, which I've got. And I hope possibly in the next week or a couple of weeks to get on with that. I've been seeing uh, Graham. At Lakeside getting on with his uh, class 50 I thought I better get on. Uh, next bit on the workbench is all this uh, which is signal box interior kit. I thought I ought to get that sorted for uh, the new signal box. So I think there's a hundred pieces there. Quite a selection here for point rodding. Uh, for the levers, so I might look into that and perhaps do some point rodding. And obviously, uh, all the little bits there's uh, what have they got the side of a chair to stick together, obviously, all the levers to be uh, put on. Uh, a few buckets there to hang on the staircase, obviously, a couple of people to paint up. So, quite a bit of work to do. So that will probably be the next thing. And uh, just bear with me, I'll just run out a new acquisition, which I think uh, Terry from Glebe Road would appreciate. But just bear with us and we'll uh, have a look at something new. Right, I'll just uh, run this in a minute. And uh, just picked it up this week. Um, something I wasn't actually looking for but one actually turned up 
and this is an OO gauge Britannia Pacific tamper. Um, obviously I had a Backman one which is HO um, but uh, seen this on the dreaded eBay this week and uh, thought better than how to buy it now on it DCC fitted lovely detail on it a very small firm obviously they manufacture uh, you can buy it as a kit or you can buy it ready built and I paid a bit less than what uh, a kit would cost and obviously all ready made so nice bit of detail now I could do with a good bit of running a little bit of uh, greasing up and I need to check the CVs of it the uh, start up on it is a bit a uh, bit slow but yeah lovely looking model quite pleased with that and just to give you an idea um, this here is the Backman um, tamper so get an idea of the difference in scale between the Backman HO and the homo gauge this one i did actually adapt it and put a bit of plastic card in through here with some uprights to mimic the actual uh, roof like they used to be because when you get it obviously that section is missing so um, i've weathered that up so i'll probably weather the other one up a bit um, and if anyone's interested I have actually put this one on eBay, I buy it now, £55, uh, DCC fitted, weathered and slightly adapted, so uh, I just thought I'd uh, give you a look. Well, there we are. That there is a lovely piece of kit. I'm all pleased with that, so anyway we'll leave you to it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like I say, have a look on eBay if you're interested. The uh, Pacman Tamper's cracking little runner. It's a nice little uh, corner filler. But there we are. I'll leave you to it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.